Honestly, I feel like this weekly vlog has been terrible because it's literally just been me like, Animal Crossing! And then reading a little bit. Hello my loves and thank you for joining me, it's Kirsten. If you watched last week's vlog, you'd know by the end of the week I was having a little bit of a meltdown. I was feeling so overwhelmed with such an intense week of training. And even yesterday, I was up really early to go and actually do an assessment for that first week. But by that point, I just kind of give it up. <laughs> that particular assessment wasn't assessed and I was just like, you know what, I've let myself get way too stressed out, way too overwhelmed with all of this, that I'm just gonna do what I can and that's it. And I just didn't even revise across the weekend because I was like, this is not important. It's the next two coming up that are important. And I was just like, I'm done. <laughs> So I should find out the results of those tomorrow. Honestly, I was aiming for 80%, so if I can get that, I'm happy and that's me done. But I think like last week, I'm not going to be reading or doing a lot because again, this is where it gets really important. So I've got one test this week that I need to pass and the same the week after, but then we're done. So fingers crossed, but yeah. So yeah, don't expect a lot of reading because I don't think there's gonna be much. And like tomorrow as well, I'm up really early again because I've got to travel just like yesterday. So it's just, uh, I'm not gonna lie, the early morning travels are killing me. Especially when the travel is like over an hour every time. Like if it was 30 minutes or so, it really wouldn't bother me. But having over an hour travel, I just get so exhausted and I'm just like, you know what, no. But like I said, two weeks, this week and next week, that's all we've got to get through. Um, but that's enough rambling about all of that. Let's talk about the books that I'm actually reading. So yesterday, after I finished my exam, I came back home, chilled out for a little bit, and then my partner wanted to meet up. So we went to Borough Market, although to be fair, I left him pretty early because I was so exhausted. I couldn't keep staying around. He wanted to stay out longer and I was like, you do that. I'm going home to rest because I was way too tired. Um, but while I was doing all of that and all the traveling, I did read another story from The Adventure of Sherlock Holmes. I've been talking about this all month and I'm really sorry because what I say doesn't change because I can't give too much about spoilers and stuff for the story because they are so short. But the last one I just read was The Adventure of the Blue Carbuncle which was actually quite good. I enjoyed that one. I thought it was really funny and it's a perfect one for like winter Christmas time. So that was really good. I liked that. Obviously we're not in Christmas, but it is still freezing cold out. So I thought that worked really well. I think I've got like four stories left and yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm literally just going to repeat what I always say and that's the writing and everything is always great. And I really am enjoying every so often just dipping into this and seeing what Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson are up to. So yeah. Very happy with that, we'll be continuing on. I am doing a bit more traveling this week, so I'll probably get more of this read and honestly, hopefully finish it. That would be really good. And then the actual book that I'm reading at home, which I did start yesterday, but only got a little bit into it, is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas, also known as Crescent City, which is the series name, but I'm just saying that massive bit, like everyone was calling it Crescent City for absolutely ages. Anyway, as I've been saying for the last couple of weeks, I've been wanting to do a reread of this because the second book is coming out in February. Obviously, I'm really excited. I don't know if you've noticed that, but yes. This is my third time reading this book and I am loving it. So I got up to chapter six, which is the beginning part of everything that happens. So you meet Bryce and she is this party girl with her best friend Danica, who is a wolf shifter. And you also have quite a lot of info dumping in these first few chapters because you are in a new world with lots of different creatures. And so you get a lot of information about that because you have angels, vampires, fey creatures. You also have different types of shifters, not just wolves. You've got so much that goes on in this. So it's very heavy handed. And then we've just, I've just read past the part where Bryce went out for a party, comes back to her home and finds Danica and her wolf pack in not a great way at all. Um, I would say that spoilers, but it is on the synopsis, which is so frustrating because I think that does kind of take away because you know to expect it. Um, and I've said that every single time, but I stand by it. And yeah, I'm just loving this. And I think especially with last week and how overwhelmed I was feeling, I am trying to focus a bit more on just giving myself a break this week. And I really do stand by the fact that a reread is self-love. That's what it is, especially when you're enjoying it and stuff, it is that. And that's what I need this week. So yeah, 
gonna be reading this I don't I'm not gonna try and rush read it honestly I want to be able to take my time really enjoy it and just have a really good time with it so yes really loving this knew I was going to obviously that's why it's the third time I'm reading it which yes <laughs> So that's it, that's what I'm reading. But on top of all of that, I have actually started Animal Crossing, which is my first time ever playing it and I'm really enjoying it. So last week I was telling you about a cat cafe game that I had and how my partner mentioned that it reminded him of Animal Crossing, which was a game he was going to get me, but then didn't because I was like, I don't really play on the Switch enough, I never have time for it. And how I really liked the cat cafe game and so I was gonna be going to get Animal Crossing but wait until next month. Um, that didn't happen because I finished my Cat Cafe game really really quickly. It's a really short game, it didn't take much at all and the after game stuff that you do is hardly at all and because you're only messing around with a cafe there's only so much you can do. So I was like you know what, no. And then Pokemon does come out next week, which I am very really looking forward to playing, or is it this Friday? But I was like, between then and then, I really want something, because I was enjoying having that game so much, just to be able to relax, where I'm not reading because I've spent all day reading and taking in information for my training, that I can just have something different just to unwind to. So I bought it. And I'm really happy with it. I'm really enjoying it. I did my first full day on the island yesterday, and it's just so cute and so much fun and just relaxed and simple and it's just, yes, it's nice. So I'm actually going to be going between reading House of Earth and Blood and also playing Animal Crossing and just taking this week to just chill. I think I struggled last week as well because my partner was on early shift. So that means by the time I finished my training, he had finished work and so he kept wanting to meet up, which I love doing. And we both know that when I start this job properly with the rotor, we could be on completely opposite shifts and so it's going to be quite difficult to see each other at first. So obviously we were making that time, using it all up, but I think it was just so exhausting for me to be finishing training, then meeting up with him and going out somewhere, which I love, but then coming back home, doing revision, like I just didn't have any time to relax. So this week he's on late, which means that I'm not going to be seeing him much at all, which while it's sad, it's also what I kind of need at the minute so I can just have a few days to just rest and relax after the training and I can just do revision as and when, not trying to cram it in and then also have some time just to recuperate. So yes. So that's the plan this week. That's it. <laughs> um, I hope your week is going well and you're definitely not feeling quite as overwhelmed as I am at the minute. But like I said, it is going to be over soon and I'm really pleased I actually have a holiday between finishing my training and then starting my job. I've got a week off and I'm really pleased I took it because I'm going to need it after all of this. Right, speaking of training though, I better hop on that call and I'll catch up with you in a couple days. Good morning. It's been an okay few days, I'm not gonna lie. So on Tuesday morning, I updated and said how I'd had a test on Monday. I was really exhausted and was just like, you know what, let's just hope for the best. Turns out I actually got 89%, so I was very happy with that. And also since then, I've had my second exam, which I passed and got 94%. So everything's going well. We're now on the training bit for the third and final exam, but it is the hardest one, but that's not till next week, Thursday. So we've got plenty of time to get all the revision done and stuff so it's quite nice because then yesterday and today I'm at home for training have the weekend off and then the week after that we're out and about and stuff so yeah honestly it's I feel a little bit less stressed now that I've got two of the three exams out of the way and I've done quite well on both so I feel a lot dogs are going crazy um so I feel a lot calmer about it all which is lovely now let's go to reader news so I have actually finished the adventures of Sherlock Holmes and this one I finished on Tuesday Wednesday? Wednesday. Um, so where I was doing my exam I had to travel to go to the location to do the exam so while I was traveling there and back I actually finished this and this was a really enjoyable short story collection. I mentioned it 
continuously throughout this month um, that I've really enjoyed having these little short stories for smaller train journeys and stuff especially because none of them were more than 30 pages it was a really great way to actually finish off a story while you're traveling somewhere so yeah I really enjoyed this I thought it was really fun some of them obviously weren't as good as others but that's obviously going to be the case whenever you have a short story collection you're going to have some that you really like and some that you don't get on with as much. After putting it through Corpile this came out as a 4, technically 4.5 because I am doing G's updated version of Corpile where she's actually added in the half star mark which I never thought I would go back to using but actually I quite like it and it gives you kind of like a bit more of a breakdown of you know what this two books were four stars but this one is actually 4.5 so it comes out a bit higher or something um so yeah so not the five star mark but that was going to happen because of the fact there was a couple of stories in this that I wasn't feeling plus I am being a little bit more strict with how I'm rating things I'm going with my initial gut on the numbers rather than tweaking the numbers to hit a five star or something like that I'm actually just going with what I genuinely originally think if that makes sense but yeah this was really good, really happy with it, definitely want to get some more short stories. Did have a comment of someone recommending the one by Susanna Clark, which is set in the same world as Jonathan Strange and Mr Norrell, and also another short classic story collection, so thank you so much for that, I'll definitely be checking those out. With regards to the book that I'm reading at home, I actually haven't made that much progress. I am on chapter 27, page 274, so we actually have 500 pages to go, so I think this is probably going to take me up until the the end of January but I want to do my wrap up this Saturday which is early but I've only got one short book which I haven't read which I'm planning to read today it's literally like 50 pages um, and then this book and because this one is a reread I'm quite happy to do my wrap up even though I'm in the middle of it uh, but just because again I don't want to be leaving any of my videos late to the week that they've got to go up apart from these vlogs. If training suddenly gets a little bit more stressful like it did last week then I don't want to be in that position where I'm feeling a bit too pressured to try and get YouTube videos out. So I will be filming that this Saturday. I mean this is the third time I'm reading it. I really don't need to have finished it to tell you guys what I think because um, I've already read it. But yeah, I am enjoying it. We're at the point now where Bryce is investigating a murder that's happened that's eerily similar to what happened to her two years ago. And so she has been told by the governor that she has to investigate it, which automatically sets alarm bells ringing because she's literally just an antiques person. Like she works for an antiques dealer. So the fact that she's being called in to assess these murders, honestly, alarm bells. And I don't know why I didn't think it was dodgy when I first read this. So we've got that and we're seeing how her and fallen angel hunt who has been tasked with protecting her is getting on and you see all their snarkiness to each other you see her complicated relationship with her cousin the prince of fey as well so there's quite a lot that goes on in this book and we're just kind of at that start where a few things are happening and things are starting to get a little bit more tense so yeah, enjoying this, I always do. I am trash for Sarah Do Mars, as I have said many, many times. Now I will admit, I could have finished this because I've had a lot of time because even yesterday my training finished at 12 o'clock. On Wednesday, I was home probably about half two-ish because I had to travel to where my exam was. I then stopped by the station that I'm going to hopefully be working at, pick up my uniform and everything. I've had enough time that I could easily have finished House of Earth and Blood Blah. blah, blah. 100% but I've been playing on my switch <laughs> I am loving Animal Crossing so so much it's so good so enjoyable it's just perfect to unwind to and it's also got these really like design elements to it which I loved just playing around with because this is only well today would be day six for me I haven't unlocked a lot of things yet so a lot of the designs that I'm doing are quite clunky and stuff because that's all I can do at the minute but it's been really fun just to play around with it. The little bit that I've been working on I'm really pleased with. Hang on let me get my map and everything because I've gone diving headfirst into this. I actually made a little map. Okay so this is, oh is it going to show you it? Okay this is my map. It's all in pencil which is why it's a bit harder to see um, because I keep rubbing out and changing things. So it just gives me an idea of a basis to work from. So the whole thing is my map but I've just been focusing on this little corner at the minute and I'm so happy with how it's looking. I'm so excited. So I spend quite a bit of time watching YouTube videos of different like island walkthroughs. Also 
plan them out where I want stuff to go um, and then actually play in the game and I'm loving it so much it's so enjoyable it's so cute having so much fun with that I think I'm actually going to do a little walkthrough and show you guys what I've done but because I have the light it's so the switch light is going to be a little bit more difficult to show you because it's going to be harder to get the camera to focus I think but I'm going to play around with it so I can actually show you but it is just this little screen so we're going to see how it works hopefully my camera focuses on it but I really like to show you what I've done because I'm really pleased with it my partner is just like laughing at me so much because he's a massive gamer and stuff and I've always gone to him when we'd be meeting up or something and he'd be running late because he's on the game and stuff and I'd be like why are you running late like just cancel it it's just a game it doesn't matter and now it's like I'll be sitting there and before I know it like two hours have passed and I'm like oh my god where's the time gone and he is like see what I mean when you find a game that you really like the time just flies same with reading 100% but generally I'll just take the book with me so it's you know never really stopped me but yeah honestly time is flying and I'm having such a blast with this so I really want to show you how that's going along and let me know if you guys play Animal Crossing and stuff I feel I'm really really late to the party because Animal Crossing has been around for years absolutely loving it so that's it that's all I've been doing I have been training and playing Animal Crossing and then squeezing in an hour or so of reading a day and that's it <laughs> but today is a little bit busier I may be meeting my partner it depends what time my training finishes if it finishes in time because he's on late this week so I don't know if I'm going to be able to squeeze that in if I can great if not doesn't matter just means more time for Animal Crossing um, but I also need to start editing this vlog so I don't fall behind and just a couple of other little things that I want to get done so yeah I rambled a lot about stuff that you know it's me we do this all the time um, but I do need to jump on this call so in case I've forgotten to say I hope your week is going amazingly well and if it's not I definitely hope things get better for you just remember tomorrow's a new day so can always get better um right okay i'm now just talking out my ass so i'm gonna go this is my island and i'm really excited i have a little orange airport i haven't changed the flag yet i've only done a little bit so i'm going to show you what i've done obviously so we have this little walkway which i'm really pleased with using the mushrooms and stuff i I'm gonna make this connect to the left side of my island but I haven't actually done that yet and then as we walk through here again this is gonna be another little connecting bit down onto the beach but I haven't done anything with that yet and this is really nice I really liked having the little birdhouse here and then walking around so this is my residence services but we'll go around here for now and then if we come down here, through here, we have a little picnic area, which honestly, I love it. It's so nice and I love the little like peach and everything. And then through here is where I'm gonna be putting my sass and bell shop, but obviously I don't have that yet. And then we come up through here, we have more mushrooms and round and now this is my favorite bit so I made this little peach chair which there we go and look how cute it is because you can see the bear here I love it this is probably my favorite corner so far and then if we go around so we've got this side here which I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do on my pier at the minute it's just a little typewriter setup and this isn't a proper rug, it's just a little design that I've put on the floor to make it look like a little picnic rug. And then here we have a little art corner. Again, this is a work in progress. It's not anything 100% set, it's just ideas. And then if we come back around here, we then have my museum, which honestly, I like my museum. I know it's a bit of an awkward building and some people struggle with it but I quite like it and with these little icicle fencing because we are in winter even this flooring like I've done it so that I can change the colour so when it's spring and my ground becomes green again I'm going to change that then we have my little fountain and we follow this around we've got some few trees that are growing and then this is nooks and cranny and then this is it really I still need to work on this area here and we're back to resident services. 
So yeah, I love what I've done with my island so far. It's taken me absolutely forever and I still need to get used to all the controls, but yeah, that is it. Good afternoon. It is Monday afternoon. Oh my gosh, has it been a wee bit crazy today because it turns out my trainer has COVID. So obviously he can't do the training with us. And today and tomorrow we were meant to be going to stations to do some bits there, but it was gonna be early in the morning. Obviously that all got canceled. So instead I got told to go to my home station, which I did, spent a few hours there and then come back home. So I'm finally back. I can't even remember when I last updated. I'm not gonna lie. I just feel like this whole week, like the training that's been a lot easier. I haven't been feeling anywhere near as overwhelmed and I've been understanding quite a lot of it. So I'm pleased with that. Um, My hair is a mess. I've literally, honestly, I've come in, chucked some motion on and now I'm quickly updating. That's mad. Um, But across the week, weekend I did Saturday went to Costco with my partner and then we just chilled out at his house and then yesterday we went up central London had to get a coat for work so yeah honestly just busy 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 which has meant obviously haven't done that much reading although Animal Crossing on the other hand is doing rather well and I have made changes since what you have seen so but there we go but reading wise I did read Circe and the Cyclops by Homer and I finished this just before I filmed my wrap-up so that would have been Friday evening I finished this. This was two different extracts from the Odyssey by Homer which the Odyssey is following one person on his way home after the Trojan War. This is obviously two things one we've got a little bit about Circe and we have a little bit about the Cyclops. It was actually really interesting reading the part about Circe because I have actually read Circe by Madeline Miller which takes that tiny little part that Homer did and makes Circe the main character and expands her storyline and all the mythology behind her and everything. So I liked both of these and I think this works really well as if you're interested in the Odyssey or even in the Iliad but are a little bit concerned because of the writing style, maybe try out this because it's only 50 pages and you get an idea for the writing. Writing was lovely. It is still repetitive, like there is one sentence in particular that was said quite a lot whenever it was introducing that character but I've kind of got used to that especially after finishing the Iliad. So we'll definitely be picking up the Odyssey not anytime soon but I will be getting around to it eventually and I think this came out as like four stars it was good and then while I was traveling around on Saturday I decided to start my February TBR a little bit early and I went with the Inferno by Dante and this is obviously poetry again apart from the Iliad which is a war poem I haven't really read much poetry but I decided this would be quite nice for while I'm traveling around because it's a really short book and it's a good one just for those quick journeys that I have. So I'm up to Canto 2 and yeah, it's interesting. I didn't realize that this is actually just one part of the long poem. I'm now intrigued to find out the start of it or at least I think that's right. From what I read from the introduction because I actually read that, it does seem, yeah, the divine comedy. Oh no, it is meant to start off with Inferno. I'm, I'm not sure, I'll have to do a bit of research into it. But what I've read so far I really like, we're actually following Dante himself as he starts traveling into the inferno and we've just met someone that's agreed to be his guide and that's literally where I've got up to. I only read 16 pages of it and again this is probably going to be one that I will slowly read throughout February as I do my little train journeys to and from places. And then of course I have been reading House of Earth and Blood. We've made a little bit of progress, didn't read it at all over the weekend. I've read a little bit today because I actually took this book with me to training because I wasn't sure what I would be doing and I just thought I would rather have my thicker, chunkier book with me because my bag was empty anyway in case I have to sit around waiting for a little while for the manager or something. But as it happens, I only got to read it on the train journey there and back. But I am up to chapter 37 now and uh, things are starting to heat up. There's been a bombing at the nightclub and everything that they're trying to investigate and stuff just keeps coming up with dead ends until they start trying to focus more on the horn that went missing, which you did hear about at the very start of this book. So yeah, we are slowly, slowly getting there. Honestly, I really am enjoying this. I do plan to read more of this today. Hopefully, I mean, I would like to read another 150 pages today if I could, because I do have this whole afternoon free and all I've really got to do today is edit this video. And then I might go over my training notes, but my test that was meant to be this Thursday, I don't think is happening now. So 
I don't know, I have no idea what's going on with my training. Next week I'm on holiday, so it won't be next week. So I guess we'll see. I'm kind of in a limbo state at the minute, but I'm still being paid, so I'm happy with that. Um, and then yeah, I think the rest of today will be editing this vlog and playing a bit of Animal Crossing and reading this. I do plan on getting this finished because I do want to finish this before I start any other books on my February TBR, apart from this one when I do my short travels. That's it. Oh, my mum did get me a really cute bookmark, which was really nice. It's a metal bookmark and it's got a Celtic design. It looks really nice, actually. So really happy with that one. And um, yeah, that's it. I am absolutely starving. haven't even eaten yet. So I'm going to go and eat. My phone is going off like crazy. I'm going to have to edit out those buzzes because that would drive me insane. Honestly, I feel like this weekly vlog has been terrible because it's literally just been me like Animal Crossing and then reading a little bit and that's it. There we go. Is what it is. Okay, um, right, so emoji of the day. I don't even know. Let's go with a train. Is there even a train? I don't know. Put some sort of vehicle because I've been on a train today, so let's go with that because my brain is fried and I'm hungry. So, right, with that, we're gonna end it here. I'm sorry that these vlogs have been quite short and stuff, but there is just so much going on at the moment. I'm hoping things will settle down, but we'll see. But yeah, so thank you for sticking with me if you've watched it for this long. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the support and to everyone that's been voting on my February TBR. At the moment, as of today when I'm filming this, Thursday Murder Club is winning. Hands down winning. Honestly, I didn't expect that, but it's like landslide winning. So that is probably what is gonna end up being picked. But thank you so much much to everyone that takes part in those. It is lovely and I do try and get a bit of this community vibes going. Right, okay. I don't know what I'm saying. So we're gonna go. As I said, thank you so much for watching. So if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to put that thumbs up, subscribe, comment to let me know that you're here. Social media links will be linked below and as always, I will catch you in the next one.